I bought this MacBook Pro M1 about 10 days ago and now it's going back and I'll tell you the reason why after I'll tell you about sponsor of this video which is our channel Alex and Nadia Fedekov check out our channel we have uh, many different topics check the playlists where you can find sewing lessons cooking recipes unboxing stuff uh, technical reviews of cameras lenses uh, computers and many other things and also you'll find some music stuff and relaxation and nature videos so check it out and i think you'll find something you'll like now the reason why i'm sending back this beautiful macbook pro which i got just 10 days ago and it's really stupid reason as you may know if you watched my uh, previous videos i already have two mac minis m1s i bought the first one mac mini m1 with 8 gigabyte of ram and 256 gigabyte of ssd storage just to try and see what this machine can do because there was lots and lots of talks about how great is m1 and how good and fast and powerful it is so i was kind of okay let's see let's try and you know let's test it maybe it's really good so i bought it and i liked it <laughs> i was surprised actually i liked it a lot and after that i bought another one with 16 gigabyte ram and 512 gigabyte of ssd storage and if you didn't see my videos uh, i have comparison video of those two max mini with a live kind of situation i'm editing uh, in final cut pro on both same project on both macs and uh, i checked how they perform is the 8 gigabyte slower than 16 gigabyte ram mac or not so if you like you can check that video the name is right there now <clears throat> because of that i mean i found that i need to do a lot of screen recording and of course i could have done that on mac minis but there is a little caviar because uh to do sound recording with a uh, mac mini i mean with a uh, screen recording together you have to plug in microphone to the mac mini and you know put it next against to the speaker so it's a little bit cumbersome situation and i didn't want you know to have all this stuff laying around wires and s so i was thinking okay uh, maybe i need to try a laptop it's much more convenient because it's already have speakers it's already have microphone everything is here so it's one unit plus uh, i might need it you know to do some editing when i'm out of studio out of my desktop so i thought okay let's try this beautiful macbook pro and i bought it and i like it it's a good computer it's it's actually a great computer a uh, beautiful screen and everything is working fine you know it's very 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 comfortable to work with but because of m1 architect this chip it's one unit which contains as you may know contains a cpu ram gpu and ssd storage and unfortunately ssd storage is known for being affected by how many cycles of load and unload you do record erase you know so after a while uh, ssds they die they wear out and die and in a, in regular architecture of computers you can just swap your hard drive your ssd drive and you're good to go and your computer is working fine but because of this m1 architecture you cannot do this so once your ssd is done your computer is done no more you don't have it anymore so because of that i was i mean i not was i am editing on my mac minis m1s 
from the external hard drive. <clears throat> the only what I have on internal hard drive is application, I mean Final Cut Pro and others. And I directly editing this from external hard drive. So in this case, my li the life of my internal SSD drives will expand. So I feel more comfortable basically. And I thought, okay, I can do screen recording on MacBook Pro exactly the same way to the external hard drive. And I wouldn't be worried much about internal SSD drive. So I did first recordings and I found out for some reason after I stopped screen recording, computer doing something and I looked at the hard drive external SSD and I see it's blinking so it's doing something. So I thought, oh, oh, is this computer recording screen first on internal hard drive, SSD drive, and then transferring to external SSD? That's not good. It's not going to help, you know, to extend, expand lifetime of internal SSDs. So just to make sure that my assumption is correct, my uh, analysis is correct, I called the tech support, Apple tech support, and I told them the situation and my concern was confirmed. It is recording on internal SSD, keeping it for a while while it's recording. And then when you stop recording, it's transferring these files to the external SSD. And end of the story. And that's basically the reason why I'm sending it back. I mean, I like this computer, but this um, little disappointment, uh, I found that, no, I'm not going to keep it because you never know when it's going to die and how long it's going to last, especially when I'm doing a lot of screen recording about hour, hour and a half long, and the files are like 30, 40 gigabytes. So, and I'm doing like three, four recordings per day, uh, which sums to over 100 gigabytes per day. So, and it's hard to find, I mean, it's impossible to find uh, lifespan information on this Max. So, I'm not taking this chance. I'm sending it back. I hope Apple will uh, fix this little nuisance. I don't think it's hard to do because Windows does it absolutely with no problem. Why cannot do this Mac Mini or MacBook Pro M1? So I hope Apple will fix it, but for now I'm sending it back. And I hope this video was helpful to you. And what do you guys think about this situation? Uh, I, I found it disappointed. So um, just write the comment if you have any suggestion. Maybe I'm missing something, but um, I don't know. I spoke with tech support and they didn't have any solutions for this situation. And subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Click that notification bell for future coming videos. And I'll see you in next video. Bye bye now.